If I were gonna cast a guy to play a governor in a movie, Gavin Newsom, he's a sexy guy. In March of 2021, we first introduced you to impressionist Matt Friend. I met him on an app called Clubhouse, where he played a fake Howard Stern. Well, recently, the real Howard Stern invited him on. Sorry, I just wanted to know right. right or wrong, right? Right. <laughs> right. 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 Howard, left or right? Right. Uh, right. 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 <laughs> Matt has sort of become a regular on the Howard Stern Show, which is kind of wild. Matt, friend, welcome back to The Issue Is. You have blown up, buddy. Uh, thank you for having me, and it is a thrill to be back on my favorite California show. Uh, I'm so excited to be we, here. We appreciate that. We're very <laughs> proud of you and take credit for all of your success. Uh, you were one of the first to believe in me, so you should take all the credit you want. All right. Well, we, lo we love hearing that. Uh, let, let's start. I, I want to tell people about what you've been up to since you were last here, which is kind of it's, crazy, yeah. including Howard Stern, because we met right. with you doing fake Howard Stern, and Howard, who is known for not particularly liking impressions of him has treated you like a son almost. It's it's unbelievable the momentum of this past year. I, I guess how it has kind of treated me like a son. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's wild to me. But the momentum has been crazy. Kind of crazy things happening every day in my career. It seems like. Well, and let, let's talk about all those things individually. Yeah, please. Let, let's start though with you know, one of your all-time favorite shows is Family Guy. Oh Seth MacFarlane is like totally your, insane. Your, 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 totally insane. Your it's crazy. Model. And you came yeah. in and you're doing voices on Family Guy I know. now. Yeah. It's totally insane. Uh, that's Roger the Alien, in case you didn't know. I'm sure the Fox 11 viewers know who Roger the Alien it, is. It, yes. airs, it airs on Fox that's 11. That's true, yes. Yes. Um, but uh, no, that is like the show of my childhood. You can yeah. ask any of my childhood friends, my parents. I could not shut up doing Stewie Griffin as a kid. I still can't. And now I have a little bit more of an excuse because I've done some miscellaneous voices for them and The Simpsons. So surreal dream come true and, and and you've grown your your social media yeah. audience in a big way yes uh, including your snapchat following so much so that they invited you to this event called new fronts where yes. snapchat basically rolls out their technology to all their advertisers yes. we've got some video of you there you know we know that you do this impression of tim cook doing these <laughs> good events. morning yeah and you kind of look like it, tim cook here it's leading this whole thing it's so surreal i mean snapchat is the best because i'm able to show my audience a a whole different side of me where it's more of my day-to-day -day life the behind the scenes as opposed to a more polished final product that you see on other social platforms so i was thrilled to be there with the snapchat team shout out jim we love jim okay so, we love yeah. jim whoever jim is <laughs> um, uh, meanwhile you mentioned the golden globes yes. right uh, so they invited you to do social media on the red carpet the official yes. golden in, globes in, in, and, and uh, one of the big nominees the big winners that night oh, was austin, austin butler, butler yes. for, for elvis who recognized you, yeah. let's show that moment. Oh my God. That's very you good. Crush that thing. Thank you. Can we do a little If I Can Dream for the camera? If I'd like I to can hear dream you of a better land where all my brother Baz. Congratulations. <laughs> Baz. <laughs> so Baz is Baz Luhrmann, who of course is the director of that. Yes. I mean, are these guys now recognizing you? What's it like being out there on the red carpet? I mean, I'd imagine you have a similar feeling because I know so many Californians love and respect your work. <laughs> so I was on the carpet and then Austin comes up to me and goes, I just love your video with Jeff Goldblum <laughs> and Rami Malek. It was so great. And I and made the conversation that much easier than we did the little singing and he was the nicest, coolest guy ever. And I'm excited for Dune, because he's going to be in a movie with Timothy Chalamet, my, one of my other favorite impressions. So it seems like everybody who's in a biopic is going to be doing a movie together. Yeah. yeah. And, and meanwhile, you know, that's Hollywood. Let's that's talk Hollywood. Washington, Absolutely. where they're even more narcissistic and, like, looking at impressions of themselves, right? Yeah, who likes to look at themselves more, Hollywood or D.C.? Yeah, well, yeah. it takes one to know one yeah. with us, right? Exactly. So, so anyways, uh, you get invited to the White House Correspondents' Dinner, uh, and we know that you've played Mitch McConnell on our show uh, many times before. <laughs> Uh, but we got the glasses, right? Do we want to show we, people we, a little, Mitch? Well, absolutely. Is Mitch Listen, coming out here? This is the impression I do <laughs> to get women to be sexually attracted to me. Because <laughs> nothing drives women crazier than little of a Kentucky senator, and they love that bourbon scuba doo. Yes, duel. they do. So, so Chuck Schumer, <laughs> yes. who is like Mitch McConnell's nemesis, liked this so Harry much. Harry Potter and Voldemort. He invited you to do the impression with him. Let's show that. Yes. <laughs> Chuck, listen. It is really great to be with you right now. I have to just tell you, Kentucky bourbon Thank is better. Sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's I mean, insane, that, isn't it? That is insane. It's we, insane. And we know that Adam Schiff also wants to be in the Senate with 
Chuck Schumer. He was on our show yes, recently. Yes, birthday and we, was yesterday. And, and we showed him your uh, video here, and, and he was so inspired by you as, as we show this video uh, <laughs> that he invited you to do comedy with him. Uh, yes. You were a part of, of his comedy at the Democratic National Convention. You're doing a big event for him this weekend. And, and recently, you're playing Trump and he's playing him, and, and we hear a side of him that we've never heard before on TV. Let's watch this. If you had the chance, what would you say to me? Right to my face. Well, what I would say to you oh, is, such a nasty um, guy. What, would you say to what, me? what my colleague Mike Thompson told me, I should say, the first time you attacked me on Twitter, he said, Adam, you should tweet back, Mr. President, when they go low, we go high. Let's go Pencil mix is it best, and thank you very much. That, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, that's what I love were to bring you, out were, of people. Were you surprised? I mean, I like to think, I want to take a little of the credit because I've never seen him like that before. No. So I like to bring that out of people. That was that was a crazy moment. Hilarious. I mean, who would have thought that he'd have the better punchline? That's why he got censured, by the way, because of that video. So I take you the credit. You are responsible for that. That yeah. video, I'm yeah. sorry, Adam. That's yeah. my fault. Yeah. Apologies. Uh, so you're, you're headed on a nationwide tour. We want to yeah. put up some of the information on the screen of where people can see you. Yes. September, yes. September 29th, you'll be in L.A., October 18th. My birthday, you'll be in San Francisco, mattfriend.com slash standup. You can buy tickets. Um, and we want you to do an impression session for us. We're, so when I'm we come back, we're going to do that. Um, but as we go to break, I want to show what I think is the wildest moment you've had of all. Okay. So you're out on the National Mall <laughs> talking to people about George Santos. And who walks up? Alex, this was the craziest thing that will ever happen in my career, <laughs> aside from being back on the issue is George Santos, George Santos walks by in the middle of random interviews, creating content on the street. About George Santos. About George Santos. So let's go to break with George Santos and Matt Fred. <laughs> What are you doing, George? Are you videoing this? Stop by. Oh, he's George, you're a nasty guy. George, we love you a lot. We love your outfits. We love your dresses. You're a great guy. Well, Alec, let me tell you, the way you look at me, it makes me sick. And you're a nasty guy. Comedian Matt Friend runs into Alec Baldwin in the streets of New York doing perhaps his most famous character, uh, Donald Trump. Matt is, is back with us. And you've brought many of your famous friends along of with course, you as always. to discuss, you know, the big issue of the next couple of years, of course, is is the presidential election. And uh, we're going to start by welcoming Governor Ron DeSantis to yeah, the sure. show. You sure. Uh, Governor, uh, talk to us about 2024 and why you think you're, you're such a strong contender. Yeah, sure. I mean, first of all, it's a disgusting question. OK, told to look in this camera. He's a woke reporter. We all know this. You know, we got to <laughs> stop pussyfooting around. OK, enough with the riffraff. You look at the city of San Francisco, once great city, it's horrible what's happening under the governor, these leftist woke policies. And when I'm president, we're going to restore sanity to America. OK, so it's disgusting what's happening. And we're going to end this madness. Thank you very much. Right, meanwhile, a former president LGBTQ Trump. LGBTQ is wrong. Former President Trump is, is here with us as well. Well, that's true. What's the question, Annie? Um, why are, are this you? Guy this guy is such a dog. He is such a dog. What are you going to ask? <laughs> What are you going to ask? Why are you the best contender? Well, I'll tell you what. A lot of people are saying there's competition. There's 40 points ahead. It's not even a close. It's not even close. And, uh, and are you ready for this? Yeah. It's a disaster how they're treating me. They talk about the documents. There's a lot of things in the boxes. There's golf clothes. There's my spray paint. There's a lot of different things. And it's horrible you even bringing that up. Because Chris Christie, who's a slob, no one wants Brendan Fraser in the whale to be the president, okay? It's nasty <laughs> what he's doing. He should go back home. Nikki Haley is a nasty person, like Elizabeth Warren, lying about her heritage. Yeah. And it's terrible. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, we want to get the other side in here. Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom is is joining us now. Do you want to respond to what we just heard from the former president? Yeah, you know, you know I just, I got to keep moving my, my, my hands out like this to the camera. <laughs> I'm going to unbutton my shirt because you all know I'm the nation's sexiest governor. And, and you know, eat your heart out, Florida. Eat your heart out, southern states. California, they talk about an exodus of people leaving the state under my governorship. No, no. Per capita, it's been way less. And let me tell you, it's just wrong what Ron DeSantos is doing. I'm offended. And Donald Trump is going to clean his clock. Yeah, yes. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go now to uh, Howard Stern right. is, is back with us. Right. The, the man himself, I know, you, you know, early in your career, you weren't that political, but you've been weighing in on politics more these days. Your take 
on the state of things right now. Let me just tell you something. Right? I mean, these candidates, they make me so sick. Right? You see DeSantis, <laughs> you see Trump. Donald Trump, he used to be my friend. Now he's disgusting, right? And Joe Biden, I don't even know what he's talking about. Right? Like Every time he's talking, he just kind of moves off the stage. We, we need someone like me to run for the presidency, and that is why I, Howard Stern, the king of all media, am announcing I am going to be the king of the United States and run for president. Robin, are you with me? <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, now. Wow. Go to righthowardstern.com for more. Thank you. Quite, a, quite an announcement on the right. issue is. I'm glad you chose our show right. to make that announcement. Finally, <laughs> Andy Cohen weighing in on the 2024 race. Yeah, I mean, it's an amazing question. So mausley, yes. I honestly think California Governor Gavin Newsom would be the zaddiest prez of all and I just want to know which POTUS candidate is the most well endowed. That's the real question. Yes. Well, we, we are getting the big issues here. Absolutely. Uh, I'm the, sure Newsom has a big is, issue. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Hopefully yes. we didn't get canceled from that. Amazing. Uh, Matt yes. Friend, uh, we, we want to know more about you and play our personal issues game with you. But uh, as we go to break, we want to play some music. And, and I know you, so I know what your all-time favorite song is. How it's, do we know it, this? It's what every Gen Zer thinks about. <laughs> Frank, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra. Right? Yes. So we go to break with Call Me from Frank Sinatra and your chance to jam out. Call me. Don't be afraid. You, you can, can call, call me. me. Maybe <laughs> it's late, but just, just call me. me. Tell me and I'll be around. <laughs> Meanwhile, we, we want to, you know, highlight something that we haven't had. We've, we've heard so much between Newsom and DeSantis yes. back and forth in the media, but they haven't had a one-on-one -on -one debate. They have not, and I'm dying and, to see and, that. And, and so we figured if we can't actually make it happen on The Issue Is, we'll make it happen with Matt Friend and fake it on The Issue Is. So uh, here's some real fake news for you. Uh, this is the Newsom-DeSantis debate you've always wanted to see. Uh, and it seems like Governor Newsom that it really comes down to a, a model between two states, California versus Texas. Why is California the better state? Why are, should we be the model for the country? Yeah, you know, I, I just don't even think, you look at the facts, you look at the facts, Alex, and in California, it's the most job growth, the most job creation. You see people like on different networks and commenting on how we've lost, but economically speaking, California is winning. We protect the middle class. We do what's right for the average American. We don't bully people who have a different pronoun or identify in a different way like Ron DeSantos does in the state of Florida. Here in California, all Americans are welcome. All right. I'm Will Arnett. Okay, thank, thank you very much, sir. Let's now go to, to Governor DeSantis, your chance to respond to what you just heard and why you think that Florida is the model for the country. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, look, it's not even a competition, okay? First of all, you like the movement here. Let's get a wide shot of the accordion movement. <laughs> you can't really compare Florida and California. I mean, look at the pandemic response. Under Fauciism, okay, which was basically like Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin, just a dictatorship, what did California do? They locked up the state, okay? You had Gavin Newsom having lunches and dinners at the French Laundry. And then here I was, okay, opening up Florida so everyone could enjoy and move on. It wasn't a big deal. We had the right response, and that's what we're going to do to America. Make it less like California and restore sanity to this great state and country. Well, let, let's just wrap things up real briefly, um, because ultimately this is probably going to be a Newsom versus DeSantis presidential race at some point. Um, so if you could make your big final pitch on why, Governor Newsom, you think that you would be a better presidential candidate. A absolutely. You know, because I have the best slogan. And I, I invented this. I, I spoke about this with my daughters, Sasha and Malia. And it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be, yes, we can. And America is a place for all people to come together. And that's what California is. California, Alex, is a microcosm for the great country that is these United States. Yeah, I, I, that sounds very familiar. Um, uh, <laughs> Governor DeSantis, your, your closing argument. Yeah, I mean, sure. I think I've already gotten the point across, Alex. Okay, what more can I say? I mean, my presidency will be the least woke presidency anyone's ever seen. <laughs> and I got to just say, we got to do away with these pronouns, okay? Parents should be deciding what their child learns in the classroom. And California is not going to limit that. 
They're going to have green M&M teachers wandering around, teaching our students all the wrong things. I want our kids studying the Bible, praising Jesus, doing the right thing. And that's what we're going to do in America, away with pronouns. And by the way, it's DeSantis or DeSantis. I don't know, but you can vote on the poll. Who knows? I don't know. No one knows what it is. Casey, did I do a good job? <laughs> <laughs> thank okay, you. thank you very much. Check out his wife for, for affirmation. Absolutely. Uh, so our thanks to Governor Newsom and Governor DeSantis. Hopefully you feel more informed as a voter, which is our point. And, and can I just say, by the way, it's a thrill to be here because with the writer's strike going on, there's literally nothing else for me to do. So thank you for having <laughs> me out here. This is it. Less than stellar genetic code is spreading through burp-borne transmission. Simpsons legend Hank Azaria recording an episode of The Simpsons with Matt Friend watching along. Uh, Matt Friend is back with us. How has Hank Azaria influenced you? Let's start about your relationship with him. Yeah, well, I'm not a Nepo baby. Let's make that clear. <laughs> but my connection was he was my dad's college roommate. Which is crazy. Uh, and at Tufts University. And ever because of that, I mean, he was really the reason I wanted to get into comedy in the first place. And he's like, was my idol growing up. Uh, I was always emulating him. I saw him in spam a lot as a kid. I was doing, I fart in your general direction. Uh, <laughs> I was doing all of his voices and I was obsessed with all the characters he created in movies and, and Heat, that scene with Al Pacino, she's got a great ass, <laughs> um, as I talked about with him. So he, he's like really the large reason why I wanted to do this. And you recorded an episode of The Simpsons with him. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's the biggest dream come true. It's unbelievable. I mean, doing that kind of work for a show like that that's been around longer than I've been alive. Which is crazy. Um, and still going strong. So it's, it's amazing. Shout out Matt Selman, too, by the way. Okay. All these people. <laughs> He'd be in The Simpsons. Come on. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let, let's I could be making up names, yeah, by the way. Uh, we want to Shout play, out Crystal Michaels. We want to play. Thank that's you. my mom. All right. Let's play our game, Personal Issues, to wrap things up. This is where we put 30 seconds up on the clock and yes. we get to know some of your personal favorites. Rapid fire, first thing that comes to mind. Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. What is your favorite movie of all time? Austin Powers, A Spy Who Shagged Me. Who's your favorite band or musician? Frank Sinatra. What's your favorite book of all time? The Frank Sinatra biography by James Kaplan, two parts. Uh, who's your favorite athlete of all time? Roger Federer. Hey, it's Roger here. <laughs> who's the best impressionist other than you? Of all time? Yeah. Uh, vocally, Rich Little was is alive, phenomenal. I loved Phil Hartman, Bill Hader, oh, there's too many. Jay Farrow, yeah. that's hard. Who's your role model? Uh, my dad, my mom, Bill and Linda, <laughs> Seth MacFarlane, Alex Michelson. Uh, all, those, all those are good answers. Um, and by the way, we're celebrating you this weekend. You're turning 62? 25, 25 62? tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> 63. So get the Viagra, because we're getting up there. 25 tomorrow. This is my last day being 24, so I'm so happy to be here with you. Well, we are, uh, I've got a gift for you, which is oh some cookies my God. from my mom. The issue is cookies, and your mom makes cookies professionally she does. as well, the big fat cookie. Big fat cookie. Um, in, in Thank all, you so much. In, in all honesty, as we get the, the birthday music going, uh, oh I, my I, God. Just, I just want to say, I'm so proud of you, so happy for your success. You uh, are incredibly talented. Thank and, you so and much. And I love you, brother. Well, I love you, and thank you so much for having me. And let me just say one last thing. This is how great Alex is at his job. In between breaks, that sit up, because I was slouching, and he always wants to make the guests look great. So you got Johnny Carson energy, <laughs> and we're standing up straight here. We'll take it. Thank you, Every Alex. Every 25-year-old referencing Johnny Carson. That's we really love good it. to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's all. Until next week, time. Take us, take us out, Johnny Carson. Well, I just wanted to say he's my dear friend, Alex Michelson. Thank you very much.